You guys hear me? <clears throat> Can you hear me, right? Pretty clear. No issues. Great guys. Yeah, I forgot to bring a microphone, so it's like almost 1 a.m. I'm hella tired here, but I I powered through it because it's been a while since I did an IG live, so I just wanted to do an IG live for you guys. All right, so let's let's just do this real quick. First of all, I wanted to cover a couple of topics. Uh, I wanted to do this video to, to show you what it is like to trade while you're on vacation and whether or not you should trade while you're on vacation. So these are the topics I'm going to be talking about. Should I trade Huawei? If so, how? And then we'll go through the, the trade itself. First of all, should I trade while I'm away? So today I was like, okay, should I trade or not? So I actually texted Alex to see what was moving. Uh, he is busy with his own thing, so he couldn't respond in a timely manner. So I'm gonna explain to you what I did. And so this is what you're gonna do um, if you're away. Of course, you have the extra benefit of having the MIC chat room to ask other people, other traders, if there are stuff to trade. Um, people here are helpful and they'll tell you, go to back to sleep or, yeah, dude, there's something that's uh, within the parameters of a good setup that you can take advantage of. Everybody can hear me, right? So I'm gonna start right now. So what I did was the first thing I woke up was I, I, I looked at my scanner. So let's take a look at that. So here is the equity feed. I'm going to open up equity feed. So while I'm away, there should be an MIC travel, I think. Let me take a look. So if you, if you signed up for... So this is equity feed. There should be a bunch of MIC defaults. We're gonna talk about that more when I come back, but there's a MIC laptop. And that's what it did, it shows up. There's a party right now. <laughs> I'm trying to do this, my friends are having a party in the back for his birthday. But anyways, so here, right now, these are the stocks and here are my filter information. This is all defaulted when you sign up for equity trade, equity feed, which I highly suggest you do, because if, if you have to sign up for one tool, uh, a scanner would be it. Because you don't want to you don't want to rely on other people, right? You want to be able to, to put in your own parameters and figure out within your specs what's what is a good fit for your strategy. I'm kind of tired, kind of drunk, so I'm a little slow. <laughs> Uh, powering through this for you guys. So I, so I found mankind in, in, in the morning, and I, I realized man, man, mankind was a, is a piece of crap. Usually, it's a piece of crap. But 
just because it's a piece of shit doesn't mean that it will squeeze the crap out of you, right? So if you take a look at the stock itself, if you if you didn't cover like I covered, you can get the crap beat out of you. So, so I identified this. So we, me and actually Alex actually talked through this trade, and we we basically said you have one shot at it. Um, it's gonna zombie out. The reason why we thought it was gonna zombie out because interactive brokers had all you can eat locates on it, basically easy to borrow. And everybody wants to short the stock because it's a known pig. And so when, when you have all those combinations in, it's, it gets squeezed, okay? And hold on a second, guys. So let's take a look at that trade itself after we look at the chart. Once again, I refer to the line chart because it's very easy to read. In the morning, it ran up to 180, then it ran all the way down to like 140 something. So when I got up, started trading, it was around this time. The chart, I let the chart build. Remember I, what I said? I, I don't like to be the guy that's, yeah, sure, I could be the 180 guy, but what if it went up to two bucks? So I wanted the chart to build itself so that I can uh, use that and replicate my trades based upon that, right? So I waited. So I, so what I noticed, I drew a line across and it peaked around here, right? So there's your first line, guys. All I did was at the open, I waited for it to shoot up and then started scaling it. I didn't make much of it, man. 10 cents, that was it. But I'm on vacation, dude. And I, I recognize if you have one, one opportunity. If you, if you have that one opportunity, you make 10 cents, dude, that pays for your vacation. It's just, it, so basically, I, let's go back once again. It's, it's this simple, guys, seriously. <laughs> Uh, let me draw the grid lines in. Uh, I wish I had my, I wish I had my uh, webinar stuff. I don't, so you have to bear with me. So at the open, I just, I just shorted right where the top of the, the candle is in terms of the pre market. As simple as that, guys. I mean, this is not a genius thing. The, the genius comes in this, okay? It's the cover. The cover basically is also at the support. All day, all night. This is the bread I'm gonna play, guys. Short at resistance, cover at support. Simple as that, dude. I made, I paid for my vacation just with this. Doesn't take much, dude. You hit, I hit, I ran, that's it. The genius comes in knowing the rules, knowing if this stock is gonna break down or if it's gonna go back up and whether or not to take your money or, or hold it. I noticed the range was very tight. And I'm like, dude, it should have tanked more. If, if this was weak, this should have hit all the way back down to the bottom support, right? It did not hit that. It bounced up all day long at the same line level. You see that? And so it went from this channel. And the moment it broke the channel, you're fucked. So, and it coincides around 10.30, dude. So once again, you know, towards 10.30, I'm like, I should be up on this more. It should have went down lower, but did not. So when a stock does not do what you think it's gonna do, given enough time, you should get the fuck out. So I got the fuck out. Actually, perfectly. Over here, over here, then it went up. I mean, you could, I mean, this is not a big trade by any means. Only captured 10 cents, but dude, 10 cents is still 10 fucking cents. Um, if it, you take, like I said, today was not a monster day. You take what the market gives you. I identified this play as the easiest play and I only have room for, so take a look at my trading station. I, I only brought one, one screen here in the laptop. And that, I mean, that's, I, not much, so I, I only I could I can look at two trades, one trade the most.
two or two two trays of the most, you know. So I just did one easy one, nail and bell, boom, done. So I identified the fact that. So going back once again, should I have traded it all? Um, there was a stock that identified based upon a former runner history, former pig history, I knew what it's gonna do. So basically experience, and then based upon the gap that it went and the channel that it traded, I said, okay, this was worth one trade. One trade. One trade doesn't mean buy and sell. One trade means one strategy, one plan executed, right? So my plan was to short at the resistance and just take the fucking easy hit, dude. I, I scaled a little bit out. If it had went more, I would have been, I wanted down here. Bottom of the score, but did not happen, right? Simple as that, guys. I mean, shit, this is, I could have went to sleep, I, but I woke up. Who knows what, if this play would have been a monster, dude. There's no way you would fucking know until you fucking trade it, right? And so, but the thing was, it was an opportunity that was there. It was a big gap. It, it, it was a known pig and it was channeling, and it was very predictable. So I was like, you know what? I'm on vacation, I'm drunk, I shouldn't be trading, but I'm tired as hell. But I, you know, so I, I made a little, some trades, and I covered at the, the, before the 10.30, obviously. This thing spiked up actually before 10.30, around 10.23. But remember, 10.30 is a rule, rule of thumb. It could be 11 o'clock, it could be like 11.30. It doesn't matter what it is, but you know what? I just noticed that too. This thing should have tanked, but it's not tanked. So they're eating the shares. And the fact it was easy to borrow, all that jazz, you know, it's a perfect storm to get squeezed. And surely enough, it got squeezed. And like I said, man, uh, the bigger traders are laughing at it, saying 10 cents. But dude, who the fuck knew it was 10 cents or not, right? It was only hindsight. It could have been 20 cents down here. If it had broke down here, it would have scaled a lot more. So. Would, I have a plan. The whole plan, you, you basically need to... Hold. A plan consists of this. Where are you going to enter the trade? Where are you planning to exit the trade? Okay, and this it requires scaling or not scaling. It's up to you. But also the plan is an emergency plan. Meaning, like, if it doesn't go your way, what the fuck are you going to do? So that's your stop loss plan, okay? We talked about this a lot. It could be max dollars, max pain. It could be max share size, it could be a time. But you basically put that into your plan. As long as you do not deviate from your plan, you're completely okay, dude. You may lose the money, but don't be sad that you lost the money. You execute your plan. It's just your thesis was incorrect. You know, the next thesis could be correct. But as long as you stick with the plan, you are okay. It's when you start like, Pressing and, and like dude, accumulating this when you're like, dude, this is a known pig. I don't want to miss a trade on FOMO, so I'm gonna load the crap out of it. And you're forcing the trade, dude. Let the trade come to you. If that happened, you would took the loss at the top, and then you'd be pissing yourself when it went back down. So now, look at look at my secondary trades. When I was trading right before I got here, uh, right before I did the IG live, right. I waited once again to the 180 line and reshorted it, hoping I'd just make another 10 cents. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm, I'm up a few cents now, it doesn't matter, but I'm on vacation, dude. I, 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 you know, I'm not being impatient, I'm not forcing a trade, I let the trade come to me. I used 180 line, it went down here, I thought I missed the trade, but I put some orders out here and it hit. I mean, these are all, I wanted to, so over the weekend, I, I started tweeting about creating a service that's replicable, right? You, I mean, this is something that you guys can do. Uh, I, dude, I could create a super complicated system for you, trying to impress you as to how smart I am, but what fucking good is that gonna do for you? If you don't understand, you can't do this yourself. So notice everything I've taught you. Fucking easy as shit, right? Basic stuff, resistance and support, those should be your main thing. Those are not everything, but those are the easy rule of thumb to use, dude, to start trading. Then you can start doing other stuff. So my whole point is the fundamentals need to be there. In order to run, you need to walk. Before you walk, you crawl. If you know those steps, running is so much easier. You'll just go from birth to running.
it seems very overly simplistic because it is and it should be but it doesn't mean you're gonna make money all the time being this there's so much shit you gotta figure out but at least you know like dude you do something that's easy over and over you get better at it and then you start adding more skills to your arsenal So this is pretty much the only trade I wanted to go because the other stuff like NC, I, could, I couldn't I could like get a short on it, locate, I waited too long. But uh, me and Alex told us like $2 to use the chart, but this would have been more risky. I mean, you had to do analysis, it was lower float. You know, so I didn't have room. So basically it's just whatever you, you want to trade, dude. I mean, I'm not, I'm on vacation, I'm drunk. <laughs> So I created one plan only, you know, for for mankind. That's it, MNKD. So, um, you guys have any questions? Let me go back to the questions. To see what you guys see. Um, let me go through the questions. Let me go back to the. Yeah, we can't really see what we got here. Let's go through the questions here. Yeah, dude, check out that red I hit, dude. About uh, the steps you take before you get to trading. Make sure your life is in stable condition and everything else. This, this is real talk about this. It's not even about trading. Yeah, Alex is completely right. The fruits make it sound complicated because they have no idea what the fuck they're doing. So they're trying to keep convincing you they're smart as hell. Talk about all these fucking doji candles. What the fuck is doji? You don't know what the fuck that does, dude. Seriously, you're talking about stupid shit that all these people are talking about. I mean, dude, get real, dude. If, if he knew about all that complicated shit, he, he would not be fucking alerting sheep and dumping to sheep all day long. Uh, just in general, all these people, I mean, I'm a, I, once again, I'm never going to talk about, again, I, I'm trying never to talk specifically about anybody. I'm just talking about general furuism, right? If these guys are talking complicated shit to a bunch of newbies, what's the purpose except to try to con these newbies to think they're smart? If you're smart, you should be able to articulate it in a manner that everybody, including a newbie, understands. Exactly, food. I'm fucking here, drunk, tired as shit, 1 a.m. And I'm still able to make these very simple trades basic trades the, the, the only reason I traded this because this is a very replicable pattern that's happened many times in the past uh, stock like NCTY it looks hella easy after the fact but dude it ran up to two dollars if you stuck if you short this shit at 150 you'd be covering at two bucks and lost 50 cents <laughs> yeah in fact uh, teaching some party <laughs> Dude, I missed trading so much I came back. Seriously. <laughs> I was like, dude, this is a fucking high feeling of nailing the trade, right? I mean, Mankind was such a small, tight channel to nail, dude. There's hardly any money made, but I nailed the top and the bottom of the channel. I mean, that made me feel good. You know? <laughs> and, I mean, and that just taught you how to do it. It's fucking not, it's not rocket science, right? But the thing is, you have to have the confidence that it's not going to fucking go to, like, insane levels. It may will, and it may very well will go to the same levels, but but remember I told you, man, it's the first trade, the first bounce technique, the first short. It's gonna do the obvious thing before it traps, because it has to trap. So the first thing it's gonna do is an obvious trade. So this is how trading. I think this is how the, this works, dude. Uh, the first trade is is usually the most obvious, but you don't load up because you're like uh, I'm filling it out. You cannot load up because you don't know what the fuck's going on. But it always ends up to be the most obvious trade. And then the second trade, you're like, shit, I should have loaded up more on the first trade. So you, you load a little more, you make money. And you're like, god damn it, I was completely... I mean, sorry, I cursed. <laughs> uh, I was completely right. 
I sort of went huge. And so the third time you go huge, you, you lose your ass. So that's usually how trading usually works. So you should stop at the second one. <laughs> Every subsequent bounce, like I said, or a move is just gonna kick your ass. So, I mean, this is just, I'm just teaching you the simple strategy, dude. To make the bigger money, we, we, we'll talk about it later, about accumulation. And like NCTY is a very good example of that. Um, but those, I mean, the, first you gotta master the simple basic fundamental techniques, right? Did I cover my short? I can't tell you because it's going to screw everybody up. <laughs> okay, any other questions? I'm, I'm okay with answering questions. Because I, I missed last week, so I wanted to come back. And the, uh, you guys should look at the boot camp, man. Seriously. Um, this, this is the sort of stuff I want to teach in the boot camp, how to basically start making money using basic, basic techniques. Using small size of basic techniques and you can start making money. It adds up very fast, man. I mean, you make $200, it doesn't seem that much, but so the people say, oh, why are you charging 179? It's a shitload of money. It's like, I can't afford it. I'm like, fuck, man, you, you don't think you can make $200 in one trade? Two hundred dollars in one trade. You do a thousand shares of mankind for 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 ten cents, and you do it two times. That's that's two hundred bucks. <laughs> thousand shares is like nothing, right? So all the people that complain, those are the guys that don't even want to learn anyway. So I'm not gonna deal with that anymore. But... Let me show you what we're trading here. This is the big fat place that we rented for my friend's birthday. All I have is two, one laptop and a portable screen. And it's almost freaking midnight, two o'clock. What does a boot camp cost? Free. So, so this is like a revolutionary thing I just fucking thought on the fly when I did it. I was like, I want to throw a fucking seminar, a boot camp to get people started. Cause if you, I wanted to be able to have a continuous teaching day. We're gonna do it from nine o'clock to 4 p.m. It's like a real full day. From basics to basically, I want you to start trading. And I was like, you know what, man? These guys are already paying me. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna charge them more money. So I decided, hey, if you just sign up for the annual, I'll throw it for, I'll do this for free. So all you need to do is just upgrade your from monthly to annual, which you're gonna stay anyways. It's not, you know? Annual is a no-brainer. You're gonna stay for a few months anyway, so uh, you, you you come into the boot camp for free. You just need to register with Tosh because we we, we we capped it because the space is not that large. So there's the cap. Half of the space has been rented out already. It's gonna be in San Jose. Check my Twitter, man. It's all over my Twitter. Ask Tosh for more information. So today was just an example of being hella tired. Should I trade or not? You know, and I found a very simple plan and a, a stock that I was familiar with, and so I executed the plan. If I had stuck around, I would have lost my ass. But it was a nail and bell play, and I stuck with a plan that turned off the computer. And that pretty much like would the pay for your vacation, right? So, so you have to identify if, this, if a stock is easy enough and a plan, because it had range, mankind had range from 180 down to 140. Yeah, that was a big fucking range. Let's go back to my favorite line chart here. When I woke up, I saw this. I was like, ah, oh. I was salivating. Please go back to 180. Please go back to 180. Unfortunately, it did not go back to 180. It only gave us a 10 cents channel. See, if you draw a line across here, once again, it's a 10 cents channel. So I just traded the channel, dude. Simple as that. What I could have done was waited around for it to go back to 180, then short it and make some more money. So actually, this is study this. This is the, this this pattern is it's going to be repeated over and over. This is 
this is the bread and butter, dude. This this is the perfect. This is how shit happens, dude. It channels. When it channels like this, so it means it's gonna break out. In my opinion, or it could go down, but in this case, it's so strong. It's over V wop and all that stuff, so it's gonna break out. And the first breakout is gonna come. It's not gonna go up all the way up here. It's gonna stop at the first resistance level, where you can scalp some before it goes back up. 180 will be broken, in my opinion, um, at before the end of the day. And my guess would be shit. It's almost coming up now. 2:30, 2 o'clock. It's about 44. Yeah, dude. So let's see if this is gonna happen. Um, yeah, man. This, this thing is. All these guys are talking about they're consistent, they don't need to learn. It's, this is not about just pure learning. Imagine you get a group of like minded people. It's a club, right, guys? It's a club. So if you, if you get a group of like minded people, you know, I mean, trading alone in a vacuum is, is fucking miserable. The more I call, I, I call it the more eyes you have, the better. And so within a chat room environment with trusted individuals, they become your eyes, dude. And I can't see every stock. We don't, we're never talking about people. We're never talking about people. We're just talking about the stock thing. Dude. I think uh, any more questions, ask Alex. I'm pretty tired. So. <laughs> I hope you guys the best, and I hope I, I'm gonna come back tomorrow and try to kill mankind again. <laughs> uh, it's probably gonna go to two bucks, but I'm not gonna guess it. But in my opinion, it, it, it's a piece of shit, though, no, man. I'm, I wouldn't fucking go long. I wouldn't necessarily chase it short either, because you see, it has staying power. It's already 2 p.m., right? All right, guys, rest up. Thanks, guys. I'll let you guys go.